Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And uh, we're up in space right now. But in the last episode, we ended off down on the planet there. We were searching for the little Flay shuttle, which uh, had crash landed. However, what I have done is there is a, uh, between, this, this is episode 24, between episode 23 and 24, I did an episode 23.5 as a live stream where I did some work and did some charging up of the ships and got some wars and such and as well salvaged the flay shuttle so if you are missing out on the context of it I would like to watch go ahead check out that live stream Energy and low. see thank you for reminding me that as I sit out here in space but as we come back we can see the flay shuttle is all up here in orbit and we're ready to haul it home. But, first things first. We do have the anomaly right over there, 2,796 kilometers away. And we are all the way out here. We are 5,700 kilometers away from base. So... I feel like I should at least check out the anomaly before I go back. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be expecting there in the deep space anomaly. It's just a, a waypoint here where we have the mission log. Um, what about the anomaly here? Received long range meshes from the Flay. They have detected anomalous reading in deep space. Scan shows potential for man made objects. Proceeding towards reading with caution, as no records exist of previous habitation in the system. So. Hmm. Man made objects. There might be some. something there that could. could hurt us. But. What I think I'm going to do is we're either going to, because that is 2,700 away. If I take the whole kit and caboodle here and jump, I'll probably get like 800 or something for my jump drive right now because I've just got the one jump drive. I could probably do a couple jumps, get myself closer, detach the dropship, and head on in and see what's there because we do have the dropship it is it is set up for combat we've got the two laser com laser turrets in the top we've got the anti-fighters in the back to protect my butt we got the uh, the assault cannons on the side to give me some long-range firepower and I got the anti-fighter on the nose so I think we are relatively badass. So I want to believe that we can take on the enemy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head off to the anomaly today. And we're going to see what we can do. But, first things first, we need to make sure everything is locked down. We got the cursor. It is plugged in. That is going to be its parking spot for, like, the conceivable future. Uh, I may move its connector forward one block as it's a little close to the door, but it's inside. That's all that matters. And we're also in the future with a new signal update. We're going to want to upgrade this thing with uh, broadcast and action controllers. As there are some simple things we can do here that will allow us to have some nice utility. Such as if the cursor is going to be the Fregna's ship that is always going to be flying with it. I'm definitely putting controls on the cursor for controlling these doors so I can fly in and fly out with a nice garage door opener. But for now, we got a couple jumps to do, and in between the jumps, I, we're going to do some last minute modifications to the dropship to make sure it is ready for combat. Oh, man. Max jump distance with all of this weight, only 671 kilometers. My god. God, I needed another couple jump drives on this whole thing. Ugh. Makes me wonder if I should just leave the, uh, Fregna here. Let's check it out. So, 
batteries on this ship we're, we're pretty good we're actually recharging the warfare batteries that's on the Fregna they're slowly recharging but they're not bad they're at like 28 these are at 58 percent that one's at um, not 58 percent because it goes up to three so this is oh yeah this is much lower than 58 um, eh, percent I feel like it has an okay amount of power drop cursor batteries drop ship batteries we've got a ton of power on this ship so I wonder if I should just disconnect and jump in alone because then I can go two kilometers every jump and that would save me power so why don't we do that yeah let's just reorganize get a little bit of stuff dropped off and make sure like my inventory is empty and stuff like that leave everything behind that I don't need to take all right so I want to make sure I clean all of this look at all these ores and stuff that are hidden away in my refineries on this ship uh, get everything out of the assemblers. I don't want to lose that gold in case something happens. Uh, we do have salt cannon. We will put these over here just for a second because I want to make sure the this ship is simply just empty. And then, oh, it's making more salt cannon shells. But we don't need more salt cannon shells, dude. Are you done? You're still building more. <laughs> it's quiet. It's enough. We don't need more salt cannon shells, goddammit. <laughs> you already have so many assault cannons. We have 252 of them. We're good. Stop using up my magnesium. Uh, that's in lockers. That doesn't matter. Uh, just some ice injectors. The robo factories got repair bot material. The turrets have their own ammo. And so all I need on this thing is I am lasers and assault cannon. So I just need the assault cannon rounds. Boom. That's it. That's all I need from this ship. Everything else is inconsequential. I don't have any Gatling on this drop, large dropship. I don't have any auto cannon on it either, because I got some auto cannon ammo, or the Sea Whiz. So everything else can stay behind at the Fregna, as I don't need it. Awesome. So I guess the only other thing I can think of is I'm going to make and probably use a combat bridge. So I'm gonna get all the components for this and slap down a bridge right here. Nice seat there, because if I'm here and I go into battle and my cockpit gets shot out and I respawn at this medical room, I wanna be able to jump right back in and be a back in control of my ship immediately in case that cockpit is gone and having a cockpit in the sort of center of your body there is makes it easier for you to uh, you know not get shot out all right well I think what we can do is I did set the uh, other batteries over here just to get a little bit of a top up so uh, we're not going into, <laughs> into battle with all of the charge. And now I think we are good to go. So we're going to disconnect. Thrust upwards. We're going to leave these ships here. I'm going to put a little position of the the, the fleet. <laughs> leave that behind. And we have 2,000 kilometer jump. Frickin' go! Seven hundred and eighty, seven hundred ninety-eight kilometers to the anomaly. Awesome. So what we can do is we can set in anomaly as our target, and we just have to wait. Seven minutes, and then we can jump again. But with movie magic, guys should be jumping right away. All right, everything's charged, weapons are primed. Let's jump in. That ah, wrong button. 
<laughs> Jump to the anomaly. Okay, let's see what happens. Whoa, hello, hello, what the hell? Who, what are we firing at? There's enemy grids. Oh my god, push, push, push. What? There's something above us, too. Yeah, there's stuff here. Let's push this guy. Get in range of all my weaponry. Bye bye. Oh shit! Making some damage. What was that thing's name? A marauder. Oh, oh god. Okay, I'm actually taking some real damage here. I don't know if my uh, my artillery is actually hitting this guy. Come on, target him, target him. Uh, was my laser weapon are you even shooting him? Oh shit! Oh god, okay, run, 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 run. I think we're actually losing, like, really badly here. Ah! I... Oh my god, I actually took a real big beating there. Oh shit! Oh, come on, ship! Slow down! What do I have still available? Ah, uh, turrets. What's up? Oh my god, we just have a quad assault cannon turret left. That's it? Our jump drive is down! Oh shit, we're not getting out of here. Um, this is... this is bad. Whatever that Marauder thing was, it is not good for us. But what I think we need to do... I think we need to kamikaze it. If I'm stuck out here, drifting through space... And... We don't have a jump, so we'd have to go the 2,700 kilometers back to Kessel. It might be good just to to take this thing out using my my big old butt. Where is he? We have no brakes. Our front thrusters are gone. I can't look through my turret anymore because it is d damaged and destroyed. And I don't really want to look through my turret here on the left because it's my only turret I have remaining. I think that's him down here. I think that's a grid, not a star. It's twinkling in the right way. Yeah, I was right. God, I'm good at spotting grids. All right, Marauder. We're gonna aim at you. Let's take you out. Oh god, when I thrust, I twist to the side. Because of my lack of, uh, my differential thrust. I almost want to take that, uh, large thruster on the right and turn it off. Large thruster forward, this one, off. Just so I not have differential thrust. Oh yeah, there we go, come on! Ah! Well then. Um, that went not very well. Um, uh, yeah, that didn't go very well. Uh, we're back on the Fregna. 
I think the dropship is gone. Uh, okay. Let's do a sit rep. What do we have? We have pa we have power for 16-ish hours. Some of them are more like 5 and 8. Let me just hop into a seat here. I gotta get rid of this corpse at some point. Um, we have, we have power for seven hours. We have a specter. We have a flay. We have a cursor. We have a fragment. Um, hmm. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go home. <laughs> I wonder, though, was my ram enough to destroy that thing? I hit it dead center, going like several hundred meters a second with my entire ship. I think I probably destroyed it. Do I risk? Do I risk it? And take this entire flotilla I have going and fly my way? Because, remember... I don't have jump drives anymore. I gotta do this all on ions now. So I actually have to do some... Before I go anywhere, before I make any of this kind of decision, I need to go and make some... Uh, I'm just gonna clean up that guy right now. I need to go and do some edits to this ship. Because I don't have anything. Um, well, I do have some tools. We do have some slightly better tools. Um, Industrial assembler, can I make some better tools, please? Can I make level two tools around the board? Thank you, thank you. Get these off my bar and get these into a container. And I think we'll do refinery off for the moment to save power. Just so that my batteries, yeah, see, that's what was gaining the, that was, was chewing up the power. Now they're good for four days. We're laughing. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! uh, do I even have enough materials for this? Is a really good question. Assembler, you are full of gravel. That is why you're not doing anything. Large cargo. Empty the assemblers. Now do your work. Thank you. So, the bare minimum, what I need to do now, is that we have the large ion thrusters that are on this fragment. We need to grind them down to get their thruster components, and use those thruster components to build a select number of, um, got some bottles? Please, let me know, I have some bottles. Ah, oh, you got a hydrogen bottle. Oxy bottle? No? Ah, oh, we have an oxygen bottle. Oh, it's in the oxygen generator. That's on the... Spectre. Okay, let's go out and get some oxygen. Whoa, right, dampeners. Because right now, we have some off-kilter thrust. We got these two big ones in the front. One there, one there. We got nothing on the sides, nothing up and down. So if I take these, and I go to my tools here, and we grind these down, we get 960. And if we look at an ion thruster, it's just a regular one, it's only 80. So I can build multiple small thrusters in every direction for each one of these. And I think that'll be enough to get the, fr the Fregna here at least functioning and mobile, and then that'll allow me to, um, do my stuff. Because I believe, oh, there were, there was my body despawned. I believe we've defeated the opponent. I think if we've coast our way over there, I think it's dead, and we can check out because there was not only that enemy grid, but there was also multiple wrecks there, which looks like maybe something we could salvage and drag back to base 
and retrofit for using in the future. All right, let's do some remodeling here. So we're gonna take these down and then we're gonna immediately use the components here. And I'm just gonna slap a thruster right on the side of it. And just transfer the goods one to one. And you see, this one's already full up, but this thing's still got like 800 more. I can build 10 more small thrusters. So I wanna make sure that I get a couple small thrusters here. We'll get this one, we'll get this one. And we'll just build enough thrusters that we can uh, get this uh, Fregna moving. So I've done some work on getting, so I have the backwards thrusters here and over here, so I'm sort of aligned. Um, but I do not have all of the thrusters done. However, I should just get on the way because to get there, it's going to take a while to coast all the way there. So, we're going to line ourselves up. And... We're going to start it going. We're going to use one gyro on here, and we're going to make that our override gyro. And... Uh, we're going to ever so slowly start accelerating towards the anomaly. And what I might do is... Take those two ion thrusters and just override them. And just leave the ship like this. Gyro overridden. Thrusters overridden. Slowly accelerating. And I'll auto damp into it. And uh, we'll just leave it like that as as I work. As this is the kind of thing we're going to have to do because... <laughs> we are so far away from that. It's going to take us forever to get up to speed and even more probably to stop because by the time I get there, I've got to have my brakes built. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got to I got to get to work. <laughs> we have a big thruster there for braking and we have a big thruster over there for braking. So we're good for braking thruster. We should get these side thrusters. All right. So I have been working as the ship has been accelerating although we're not going that fast <laughs> we're still only going 100 meters a second I gotta add some more thrusters pushing backwards get this thing going a bit faster here but what I think I might do is this is gonna take a while to get to the anomaly probably a couple hours <laughs> so we're not going to visit the anomaly in this episode. Next episode, we're going to limp our way to the anomaly, check it out, salvage what we can, and then in between that next episode and the one after that, we'll limp our way home back to, all the way back to Moose Camp, as uh, we do need to go in for some retrofits and some repairs. And I think we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> as my dropship my pride and joy for so far this entire series I've had that thing for like 20 episodes or something like that or more got eviscerated in about three minutes so we're gonna have to make a, something tougher we're gonna have to put some heavy armor we're gonna have to have a lot more gun we're gonna have to make ourselves a space battleship and that is going to be our main target for the future but I think the the only thing I have left to do for the upgrades of this thing is I can't do this while we're going this would be kind of fun actually is I want to set up these doors to be action relay because I think that'll be really fun so clear this off we'll get action relays we're gonna put couple of them. We're going to put an action relay here at the door. And we're going to put an action relay on the cursor. Somewhere on the cursor. I'm not sure exactly where because I don't really have a spot for it. But I will tuck it in. Not in there because that's the thruster. 
I'll tuck it in underneath here somewhere. Where do I want to tuck it? On the butt, sure. Somewhere here. Ooh, I can make this into a full block. Uh, oh, it's heavy. Okay. Yeah, let's put it back here for now. Okay, action relay. On this action relay, we're gonna have channel one, I guess. What's your channel 10? And the actions are going to be for the group, for the hangar, to up close. And on this ship, we are going to go the action relay. And again, channel 10. And that's it. That's all we need to do. And then we can go and say to our bar here. Uh, oh, probably on group 2, maybe. This one's the little one. Uh, something. Now we should be able to just press the button. Hey, we close the door. So what we can do is we can undock. And because the ship is accelerating and we're not, well, it'll slowly move us away. Oh, we're on. <laughs> uh, don't run away from me, Fregna. Dampener is relative to it. All right. So we're flying along with the Fregna. And we can close the doors from here. Hey! <laughs> nice! So when I want to, I can come up and just be like, open the pod bay doors, Hal. And it'll say yes, because it's actually in control. And then we can open up. And we can fly on in. Even while moving. Because we're badass. And we're relatively dampened. And, uh... Land up. And park and turn off my dampeners. And then close the doors behind me. That works so well. Nice. Well, with that final little, um, upgrade... That is where we're going to leave this episode. Uh, unfortunately, today was a setback. Today, we lost the dropship. And, uh, yeah, this guy knows what setbacks is like. This is how I feel today. We lost our best and biggest ship. We lost our ability to move resources from the planet's surface to orbit. That's a big thing, too. We lost our cargo. Like, our ability to move cargo. And for now, thankfully, we have a ship that is airtight. We do have oxygen tanks, which are full. We are not going to die anytime soon. And we have power that is draining. But we should have enough to get ourselves home. But for now... Coasting through the, the void here. Heading off to the anomaly at full speed. And, uh... We gotta go lick our wounds. Cover. And come back out stronger than ever. But that's gonna be it for now. Thanks for watching. Good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.